So, how's it going? Well, now we're getting into, <clears throat> we're still doing, we're not doing another session. I'm still prepping for the sessions that are to come. I think it's going to be soon. But these are some of the things that you need to know before we get into the ne next serious sessions. One thing, some things I want to say, this one is going to be on, um, we did patterns. This is going to be on like terms. I use a lot of algebra, but I wanted to tell you, and I use numbers, but I wanted to tell you, I use them to communicate to you um, the things that are true for Dance Without Music. And a lot of them go along with, you know, algebra. However, you have to detach. You have to be able to detach the numbers and those things like, you know, the symbols. I'm going to go over today um, terms, equations, things like that. But I use all those terms. I use algebra and everything. So because it goes right along with it and it's a very good tool to use. But just know from the former videos, like I stressed very seriously, that you have to separate those things. I mean, you can still have them and we'll use them, but they have to be separated. And from this, le from the former videos, I know exactly, I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. Also, if you reach this level, um, these tapes can, I mean, these videos can be used, of course, for entertainment, okay? Um, when I say entertainment, I'm also meaning they're very enjoyable. They're going to get much more enjoyable. But, how can I say? Um, oh, but what I'm saying is the people who actually understand it, like I said in the beginning, there's probably not that many people that will understand exactly what's going on because they're, and they could be used as entertainment or, you know, intellectual things and stuff like that. Um, however, if you're the person who can actually do these things and understand exactly what's going on and utilize them, I did, we had gaps, gaps in, you know, certain lessons, like right now, because I was processing, and there was a gap, and don't get into, after, if there's a gap, make sure, this is where your person, your own personality comes in, you gotta understand everything, and hook up everything the way it's supposed to be, and if you can't get into the next um, session, you know, like for instance, when we cut off before precision, if you can't get into precision right away, that means you're not ready. We, the first thing, one only thing I want to tell you, you saw how I went through certain things. And there was times when, which is very important to know yourself and just say, okay, I can't do that and strengthen yourself. And then you can go into the next, you know, the next thing. The whole lesson is, you, is I already explained everything about it, everything about what we're doing and everything and the benefits and everything is already expressed in all the other videos. So we can keep going to do these terms and equations, the function, the function is very important. Okay. So I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to do, uh, and like I said, when I say terms, it's kind of, I'm using everything, I'm using, everything I'm using is to facilitate my communications about, you know, what we've been studying and the things that we've been doing, okay? And, um, like I said, I mean, I'm using them because there's something there. I mean, like, I couldn't use these things like formula and terms if there wasn't anything there, okay? So... Um, they're utilized and I can talk about them freely because there's actually something that's there to communicate if you understand what I'm talking about. So let's see if I can get into turn. Let's see what, what's going to happen. Okay? okay, so now we have um, terms. Okay, um, I'm going to start with, uh, how about if I start with, 
okay? Terms, equations, or whatever you call it, okay? And I want to say that for one thing, numbers can be a lot of things, but I'm going to express to you what I use the numbers for first, okay? Now, let's say square, um, three, three squared, okay? So we have three squared, and it was... Okay, so this is very important because I'm going to explain something about numbers, okay? I don't know where I'm going to use terms or anything like that. I'm just telling you about terms, equations, and things from algebra. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to use them. It's just used to uh, simplify something that's happening that you probably don't understand right now. So this is, I can say this is one. And like I said, when I say it's one, because numbers can be counting and stuff like that, this number is just for the point, like this first point. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, okay? So the number that I just use are for specific points. That's, that's um, a piece of information that I want you to have. Okay, so now I'm going to, let me see if I could break it down. Okay, so I can say, okay, like for instance, I can say, um, uh, three square, okay, three times three, or, okay, I'm not going to say equal, I'm going to say or three times three, I mean, I'm saying three times three, okay, and three, okay, that's one thing, I'm saying three times three, okay, and I'm also saying three squared, okay, so now I'm going to do, I guess, what you would call a, an equation, Okay, I'll look it up later on, but you know I'm doing this to facilitate your understanding. I'm going to say um, uh, the square root of 3, and one reason why it's good to use just square roots, because like I said, we're not using numbers. The 3 is just for um, locations. This location, this location, this location. Okay, so when I say square root, you know that it's, I mean, when I say I'm three squared, you know what I'm referring to. So that's a, that detaches you from numbers altogether. Because numbers can, I could say nine, but I'm not going to say nine. Because I hope you understand this. This nine is not the same. Nine is, would be, okay, and I can do it from here. Nine would be, because I can see it. Okay, the function allows me to see the space, okay? And what I see right now is not space, it's light, okay? It's light, because I could turn the light off, you can't see anything. But with the function, you can see the space, okay? Like, I can see the space, okay? So I'm going to go to 9, because I can see the space, and it's right here, okay? So, what I'm saying is not 9 as in 3 plus 3 plus 3. That's another thing. You, you're going to have to cut. You're going to have to detach that. This 9 is only a location. So, that's one thing we're going to So, that's location, 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 location. So, that's why the algebra helps out. Because the algebra is stating that it's not, not, I can use the algebra because it's showing you something and it's not numbers, okay? So that's one thing. So that means I can say, because they're locations, okay, I can say, say if I just want to use this point this point, 
and this point, okay? So I would have to get rid of the other points. So as an equation, uh, and I would say, um, and I could use these numbers because it's not referring to numbers, so I don't have to say X or Y. Okay, so the numbers that I'm using are like X and Y, but they're specific points. So I can say, um, uh, I can, in order for me to get these three points, one, two, and three, I'm using numbers now. In order for me to get these three points, and the space is there, there's nothing else you can do because it's a space that's given to you by the function. So I'm figuring out a way to relate this, this concept. And that would be three, that would be um, okay, that would be um, three, okay, three minus three, three minus three plus three, okay? So three minus three plus three. So I have three here, and now I'm using numbers, minus three, that one that I'm gonna use, and then plus three. So because you know that it's, um, that it's three squared, Okay, because you know that it's three squared or radical nine, okay, you, and I say I want to utilize the part that I'm, that the minus, I want to use the minus three, okay, so I want to, so I'm utilizing the minus three and the three on this side and the three on this side, I'm not going to use, or, okay. Or else I could have, I could have said, um, well, let me see, I could have said plus three minus, minus three plus three minus three. The same, it would be the same thing. And as long as I say I'm going to utilize the plus three, okay? And I'm, use, I'm using it, I'm putting it, I'm putting it in the center. I'm just using the center. So if you kind of understand what I'm talking about, now we're talking about locations. And you can see where it helps because you could just, you should be able to see where it helps. So now I'm utilizing just that. So I'm doing, and now I'm going to show what I have left, that one line in between. So that's Okay, is there a three, he, th three here and there's a three here? Yes, because that space is, you put the space in the function and it's gonna stay there unless I wanna get rid of, I wanna take it out of the function. Now I'm gonna take it out the function. There, it's gone. There's no more, there's no more um, three squared. Okay, so now I hope that you understand what's going on. Okay, let's say if I say, um, I can utilize any way, I can use anything because I'm talking about a physical space. A physical space to the function is a physical space, okay? Because everything in the, oh, uh, no, I'm not gonna go there. Okay, it's a, it's a um, how can I say? It's a product of the function, okay? So it's physical for the function, okay? So let's say if I wanna take, I'm putting back the three the three squared and say I wanna make a U, so I just wanna make a U, I want it to look like a U. So the only, that's all I have to say is I want it to look like a U, okay? Like this. And you should know, and this is showing you that you do detach the symbols and everything that I'm using because I just say, 
I'm going to subtract, I'm going to subtract two, okay? And that's using a number, an actual number, and not a mark. If it was, I could say also, I'm just subtracting two, and you know what a U is, so you know it's like that. Or else I could say, there was one thing I had that was really good. Um, I, I, did I say minus two? I can say minus two. That was one thing. Oh, that was a real good point that I can use. But, um, minus two. And then, oh, there was this other thing I could use. It's like, I could say point one. I could make this mark and say one. This is one, because this could be one also. I could say this is one, this is two, this is three. This is four, this is five, this is six. This is seven, this is eight. Eight and this is nine. So I named each each mark or each point, and then I could say um, uh, to make the U, I'm going to take, I'm going to subtract. Okay, I'm going to subtract. Um, so it's five. I mean, I'm going to subtract five and. Eight. So if I subtract five and eight, that would be like a U also. So you can see that you can utilize everything in speech. And that's why the numbers that I'm using in the algebra I'm using pretty much is going to go away once we see the spaces. I don't know when that's going to be because the space is still there. The only thing I'm doing now, I could say I could do an exercise in the U. And I would go like this to do the exercise for the U. I would go, tsh, okay. I would go, tsh. Oh, this is this would be really hard. Tsh. Oh yeah, okay. Tsh, 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 tsh. Okay. So let's do that again. Okay, that was actually fun. <laughs> okay, so let's do it again because I'm making a U and you make a U like this, but it's gonna be switched around because it's switch. And after this, I think I'm gonna end it because it's too, it's a lot. It's too complex. It's too yeah, too complex. So I'm doing a U again. Okay, now as far as, I'm going to say, state one more thing, as far as the, I could, I could add the quadrants, you know, because we u I actually use, I mean, to explain also, because here with the U, I use the, um, the right quadrant, you notice know, which is around, or the natural quadrant, and then I, did it again, so that means I had to go like this, but this is a mark. And then, okay. And then this is the between, and then this is the other quadrant. And then I have to go to the next step. Okay, and that's, um, I utilize the other quadrant and the other quadrant, okay? so. That's going to be for now because it's so complex and I didn't get into a, I'm going to keep doing, I mean, I'm going to make another lesson for tomorrow. I didn't know it was going to be that detailed and technical. So anyway, that's it and thank you very much. Bye-bye.